Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene recently shrugged off the surge in COVID-19 hospitalizations among the unvaccinated by saying, eh, can't live forever. I talked to local hospitals here in my district and here in my state. Yes, the, the waiting rooms get full, but guess what? The waiting rooms are full um, of all kinds of things, not just COVID, some, you know, car accidents, trauma, uh, other illnesses, cancer, and so forth. Uh, but they're seeing about 30% of those numbers being COVID cases. So while the news tries to tell us the hospitals are slam packed with COVID, that's just not the case. Everyone needs to get back down, uh, back down to common sense and remember that, you know, we're human. We, we can't live forever. We are going to catch all kinds of diseases and illnesses and other viruses, and we get hurt sometimes. All right, so uh, before I get into my commentary, uh, I just want to thank Left Link Bets for the raid. Uh, everybody on Twitch, go follow them back. Uh, they're based. So everybody, follow that channel. Welcome, Raiders. We're just talking about, we're actually wrapping up the show with our last segment on Marjorie Taylor Greene, as you could see. So uh, there it is. Hey, you know, uh, I mean, people, look, they die all the time, right? It's just the way it is. They get sick, they die. We don't live forever. Except for Benghazi, Hillary lied, people died. Obama, they lied. Ashley Babbitt, how dare you kill those American patriots? Oh, wait, hold on. I thought, uh, I thought people died all the time. What are you talking about? Oh you, oh, you mean people with the virus that you don't actually believe in? Okay, oh, great, great. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, look, of course, she's full of crap. <laughs> For one, she is out there minimizing a virus that is killing people. Of course, it's killing her people. Uh, because this is a disease of the unvaccinated. Um, but she's also lying about hospitalizations. Let me give you the actual numbers here. So one of the hot spots that's happening uh, is in Mississippi. Uh, big surprise. Okay, Mississippi is averaging nearly 2,700 new COVID-19 infections a day just during this past week. 54% spike in the past seven days, according to data compiled by the Washington Post. The state reported more than 4,400 Newly reported uh, cases and 20 deaths on Thursday. More than 1,500 people in the state are hospitalized, and nearly 400 ICU beds are filled with infected patients. The number of ICU beds filled and the ventilators in use in Mississippi have surpassed the winter months, previously the state's worst period of the pandemic. That just shows how bad it's getting. Now, health officials in Mississippi say the state's hospital system, it's gotten so bad that it could collapse in five to 10 days if the current con uh, trajectory continues. The entire healthcare system in Mississippi will collapse. Th this is, understand this is what we've tried to avoid. This is what the mass mandates are there to avoid. This is what the lockdowns were there to avoid. All right, uh, look, nobody likes wearing masks, I get it. Nobody likes locking down, totally understand, especially when you have a government that will not support people during a lockdown. I get it, I get it. But this is what it was meant to avoid, having these hospitals that are filled up with people. Now, there's more, there's other states. Let me give you details on Arkansas. Uh, they have set a new record for hospitalizations, while uh, one official in uh, Florida County uh, is urging residents to, quote, consider other options before calling 911. Hey, Better not call 911. We're full. Sorry, can't answer. Like it or not, had a clip from a man whose wife has stage four cancer, had to go home early because all the beds are being filled by COVID patients. It's, it's exactly what's happening. Exactly. This is a disaster. Statewide, 90% of Florida's intensive care beds are full. And that's it. And it's not because oh, uh, we're just getting back to normal and there's other patients and people get sick, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, this is, this is mostly COVID patients. As uh, our friend Pagan Communist mentioned, that there are people who have cancer that cannot get treatment. They can't go in because they don't have the, they don't have the beds and they don't have the staff. So she is lying. She is gaslighting. She is completely ignoring the reality on the ground. I doubt very much that she spoke to even anyone uh, who was a doctor or a health official who was in the middle of this 
uh, of this crisis. It was actually dealing with these surges. And what's worse, by the way, this is all preventable. There's a way to actually put a stop to this, and that's to get a vaccine. Get a vaccine, wear the mask. We can end the human carnage, and that's what this is. It's carnage by doing these two very simple things. It's amazing. Vaccines, they're, they're actually free. But no, uh, she's going to do now more misinformation or disinformation on vaccines. She's going to talk about how, uh, oh, no, uh, I'm not anti-vax. Uh, we just need more research. So this is concerning to me, and that's why I'm saying there's more research needed by the FDA before the FDA approves these vaccines. Because here's the problem, Anna. Once the vaccines are approved by the FDA, FDA, we are going to see the mandates for vaccines ramp up far more than they are right now. They're going to be mandated, and I fear they'll become law in some cities and some states. Uh, Biden would love to make it the law of the land, and I think that's completely wrong. Again, I'm not anti-vax. I am completely for people being allowed to make choices, medical choices for themselves and their families. And I don't think the FDA should approve a vaccine that, that it doesn't seem to be that effective, especially with COVID-19 raging all over the country. At least that's what the media tells us every single day. Uh, I mean, at least that's what the media tells us every single day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. You know what, Marjorie Taylor Greene, let me, let me make a deal with you, okay? Uh, we give you time to do the research, right? Uh, in in exchange for completely locking down the country and paying people to stay home. You can give people enough money to stay home. Hell, you know what? Hell, we'll, we'll throw in some uh, subsidies for small businesses, only small businesses, right? While we shut down the economy, while everybody stays home, gets paid to play video games, while you do your research. All right? Uh, are you up for that? I'm, I'm totally up for that. Oh, you, you don't want that? No, of course not. Of course not, because you don't care if people die. I love how she says, I'm not anti-vax. No, you are anti-vax. You rail against vaccines. You sow vaccine hesitancy and doubt. And there are communities, by the way, the black community is a great example that have reasons to be vaccine hesitant. Or in, in Canada, for example, the indigenous communities, they have reasons, they have legitimate reasons to have some vaccine hesitancy, right? You're making it worse. You're making it worse by going out and spouting these ridiculous conspiracy theories. The vaccine is effective. It's actually very effective at not only pre preventing death, of course, from COVID-19, but also from you getting uh, seriously ill from COVID-19. Uh, and, and, and also preventing hospitalizations, which right now is really bad. There is a lot of hospitalizations going on as a result of COVID-19, of which, as I mentioned, is preventing other people from getting care. And it's already bad enough in, the, in this country, you know, since we don't have a single-payer healthcare system, we don't have Medicare for all, um, but you're just making it worse. You're making it worse. And by the way, the hospitalizations and deaths are all among the unvaccinated. And I'm, I'm not saying that you can't get a breakthrough infection, too, uh, from the way that, you know, the... the, the from how much more contagious the Delta variant actually is. Uh, but most people who get a breakthrough infection end up only having mild, uh, mild symptoms, right? In the unvaccinated, it's far worse, even if you don't die. Uh, and, and I know there's nuance to this, but here's the thing. People can get seriously, like, lifelong injuries to their organs, their lungs, from having COVID-19, even if they survive. It can damage your lungs. And, and by the way, you can also get something called long COVID, uh, which, again, you deal with these COVID symptoms for a very, very long time, and you never seem to get rid of it. Uh, and by the way, long COVID, fun fact, this is for you guys, right? You, you MAGA, you, you chads over on the MAGA side who think, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get the, I'm not going to get the vaccine. You know, I'm strong, right? You know that getting COVID-19 can give you erectile dysfunction. Get your prick. Save your dick. Real simple. Real simple. That's all I'm saying. Don't listen to Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's a complete and utter dipshit. She's only looking out for herself. She's, you know, one of the hogs that believes in all these 
ridiculous conspiracy theories that will get you killed or make your cock not work. Something to think about. You should get the vaccine. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.